Well, hello for you, and welcome to your first lesson on logarithms. We're going to talk about the definition of a logarithm today and how to evaluate them. So logarithms, the logarithm is the inverse of an exponential. But what exactly does this mean? So take this log, oh, and this shifted my stuff again. We don't write that up there. We write it down here, log base 2 of 16. Okay. Um, what does this mean when I have log base 2 of 16? Well, here's how we read it, just in case you're looking at this later without my voice ringing in your ears. Um, this is read log base 2 of 16. So this down here is called the base. And then up here is the actual log. So log base 2 of 16. Uh, but that really doesn't help us a whole lot. Let's see what this other star says. It says, this asks the question, if I have a base of 2, what exponent will give me 16? So it says, I have a base of 2, and I have some exponent up here that's going to give me 16. Well, hopefully you actually know what that is. What exponent do I have to put on 2 to get to 16? That answer is actually 4, and that's the evaluation of this logarithm, is 4. Okay. Now, in function terms, and we're not going to be doing a whole lot with the functions just yet, um, but in function terms, here's our two functions. Uh, if we have f at x equals 2 to the x, okay, and this returns the value of a power given an exponent. So the exponent, we have an exponent and it evaluates the power. That's what this f at x is. So here's our, and again, that should be log base 2, not log superscript 2, log base 2 there. Okay, um, This says that it returns the exponent. So here our x is an exponent and here our y is the exponent. Returns the exponent when given a value of a power. Okay, So let's see how we can use this. Okay, so first example, going between log and exponential form. This says write the equivalent log or exponential equation. So I'm going to go back and forth between the two. That's why I've got these little arrows, because I'm writing an equivalent expression. And I need to go like this and put a little thing down here. And over here, log base x, put that down there. Okay. Um, so log base 2 of 16. And I, that should have been written. I'm going to write it right out so you see it. Log base 2 of 16. I'm a little bit annoyed by my uh, my software here. Uh, anyway, what does that mean? Well, that means exponentially that 2 to the exponent, this is an exponent, exp, 2 to the exponent 4 equals 16, which hopefully makes sense to you. So how can I write this one? Well, 7 is my base. Okay, the base in a log is the same as the base in the exponential form. So if I'm going to write this as a log, I'm going to say log base 7 of 49 equals 2. So what this actually says is if I take 7 and I put an exponent of 2 on it, I'm going to get, and that shouldn't be 42, this is another one of those things where my hand's not obeying my mind, 49. Uh, log base 7 of 49 equals 2. So if I take 7 and I put an exponent of 2 on it, I get 49. Now, over here, we're going to do the same thing. What this says, my base is 5. So it says if I take the log base 5 and I put an exponent of x on it, so the exponent comes after the equal sign, I'm going to get 11. So log base 5 of 11 equals x. And this last one here, I'm going to switch it back into exponential form. This says, and this is down here, that this is our x. Log base x of 42 equals 7 says that if I take x as my base and 7 is my exponent, the thing after the equal sign there is my exponent, um, then I get 42. Now, this one I can actually evaluate because we know how to get rid of an exponent of 7. I've, it's the same as if I had x squared equals 42. I would take the square root of both sides. Um, 
here I have to take the seventh root of, root of both sides, or it'd be even easier if I raised it, and this is going back to your work on, it, on rational exponents, if I raise this side to the exponent one seventh. That's the equivalent, remember that root, the seventh root of something is the same as x to the one seventh. Okay, those are equivalent expressions. Um, and over here, if I apply the laws of exponents, seven times a seventh is just plain old x, so that gets rid of my exponent of seven. But remember, whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to the other, so I need to take that 42 and raise it to the one seventh. Now, if I was gonna plug that into my calculator, and I'll pull this out, I wanna take 42 and raise it to the exponent, so there's my raise it to the exponent button, and I'm gonna use my brackets and do one divided by seven and bracket equals. So that's approximately 1.7 um, is what that's going to equal. Approximately 1.7. Let's check that out. Let's put 1.7 to the 7 and see if we get somewhere near 42. 1.7 to the exponent 7. Uh, 41.03. It's not completely close to it. It's close, but it's not completely close to it. But the reason for this not being exactly 42 is because we rounded this. If I had kept a few more decimal places, I would have got even closer to 42. Okay. Next question. Evaluate the following logs. Uh, log base 10. I'm going to have to fix all of these things. Log base 10. Log base 2. Log base 2. Log base 3. Okay, evaluate the following logs. So what does this mean? Remember, and I'm just going to do this over here. What exponent, whoops, that's not what I wanted. I want to say, okay, I have a base of 10, and I have to put some exponent on it so that I get 100. Well, that one's pretty easy. That is 2. And over here, I have a log base 2, and I have to put some exponent on it to get 64. Well, what exponent do I have to put on 2 to get 64? That's actually 2 to the 6th. Now, how do you plug this into your calculator exactly? We're going to learn that later. Right now, all of these are things that you should be able to know off the top of your head. Uh, how about this one? What exponent do I have to put on 2 to get 1 half? Ooh, this requ requires that you remember uh, integer exponents, um, that whenever I put a negative on here, I got to flip the base over. So and we know it's going to be negative because the bot, this is a fraction, uh, and since it's just 1 over 2, it's going to be negative 1, 2 to the exponent 1 on the bottom. And this last one, what exponent do I put on 3? to get 1 over 27. Well, I know it's going to be negative because i got to get 1 over something, so I'm going to put that negative down. And then I have to know what exponent do I put on 3 to get the 27. Well, that's actually negative 3 because 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Uh, and to get 1 over 27, I have to have negative 3. Okay, this says estimate log base 3 of 10. Well, how the heck do we estimate that? Um, log base 3 of 10 means that I've got 3 and I'm putting some exponent on there to get to 10. Well, I know it's got to be bigger than 2 because 3 to the exponent 2 is 9. And I know that it has to be less than 3 because 3 to the exponent 3 is 27. And it's probably going to be a lot closer to 9 um, well, 10 is a lot closer to 9 than it is to 27. So x has to be a lot closer to 2 than it is to 3. So what if we just said 2.1 or something like that? The major thing here is that I know that x has to be bigger than 2, but less than 3 to give me 3 to the exponent 10 equals, uh, or 3 to the, ex some exponent equals 10. Um, let's actually give it a try. Let's try just 3.1. 3 to the exponent, 3 to the exponent, 3.1 is 30, the heck, not 3.1, what am I doing, 1.1, <laughs> or 2.1, it's got to be between 2 and 3, so 3 to the exponent, 2.1 equals 10.04. That's pretty close. 
So we're going to say x is approximately 2.1. Okay, now how do we use the calculator? Well, the calculator actually has two log buttons on it. It's got just plain old log and just plain old log, and I'm going to write this in red because it doesn't have on it, just plain old log is actually log base 10. So if you see log without any base written beside it, it means it's base 10. And this here, it, it looks like in, but it's pronounced lawn, like your grass. It's called the natural logarithm. Natural logarithm. Now, its base is something we call e, log base e, um, and we write it as ln instead of that. Now, log base e, e is an irrational number, kind of like pi. Here it is. This is what e is, um, approximately. It keeps going on and on forever, too. Uh, but this is e, and if you use the natural logarithm for certain things, it simplifies stuff. Um, we're not going to be using it a whole lot, but I wanted to uh, point that out on your calculator. Okay, use a calculator to evaluate and then write an equivalent exponential equation. Okay, so I want to evaluate these, so I'm just going to plug them into the calculator. And here we go. Let's clear that out of there. Uh, log 52. So if your calculator works forwards, you hit the log button and then 52. Uh, and if you notice this, and if you're using your uh, iPod for a calculator, it may have the log base 10, because this is basically the same um, logarithm as your calculator. So it has log base 10. Oh, this one also has a log base 2. And here's the lawn button on mine. Okay. Uh, not all log, um, or not all calculators have a log base 2. They do all have these two things, though. Uh, I'm going to use log base 10, because this just says log. And if there's nothing beside it, we assume it's base 10. And your calculator probably just says log. It probably doesn't have the little base 10 beside it. So here's how I have to type it in, because this is a backwards working calculator. So I have to hit 52 and then press the log button. And it tells me it's 1.716, approximately. 1.716. So that means that 10 to the exponent 1.716 actually equals 52. Let's test that out, shall we? Um, 10 to the exponent 1.716 is 51.9995996. That's pretty darn close to 52, so we'll take it. Uh, how about the log of 24? Well, the log of 24, I'll type that in. Again, if your calculator works forward, you have to hit log first. Mine works backwards, so I have to go 24 log. And that's 1.3979. 1.3979. So that means that if I take 10 and I put 1.3979 on it, I get 24. Now, this last one is a lawn, so we have to use the lawn button on here. Uh, and I'm just going to press 12 and then hit the lawn button. So 2.4849. Approximately 2.4849. And we can plug that into the calculator if we want to. Um, e, there is an E button on your calculator too, right down here. So we can actually use E. We don't have to type in these numbers for E. So this actually means e to the exponent 2.4849 and I'm going to use the e button on this calculator and say e, see it puts it all in there, e to the exponent 2.4849 equals, that's pretty darn close to 12, 11.99992 is as close to 12 as we need it which is what we wanted it. Um, and that concludes this video and your introduction to logs.